Raider Nation, what's going on? It's Mitchell Renz here, host of the Raiders Report with a bombshell of a report rolling in here from ESPN NFL insider Adam Schefter. I'll tell you this right now. If you want Antonio Pierce to be the next head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders, I want you to click that like button because you're going to love what I have in store for y'all in case you did not see what Schefter had to say bright and early this morning. So coming up here on today's show, I'm going to read through literally word for word the report from Schefter, and it's a little bit lengthy, and some of y'all know I struggle with quotes from time to time, but I'm going to read through the entire thing, and then near the end of the video, I am going to give you the cliff notes, the biggest takeaways from what Schefter had to say. Bottom line is this, man. I take a lot of pride in running the Raiders report. I take a lot of pride in being able to get to know the nation. And if you want to stay up to date on everything going on around the silver and black, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you got those notifications turned on because I've said it a hundred times already. This is going to be the most wild off season in Raiders report history. Head coach, OC, GM, quarterback, lots and lots of searches going on. So I don't want you to miss anything. Make sure you're subscribed. Also, subscribe if you love dogs. Shout out to Chuck. All right, here we go. I'm going to roll through the entire quote, everything that Schefter reported this morning around the Raiders, around Mark Davis, and around the Raiders' head coaching search. Pro Bowl defensive end Max Crosby came out this week and said he wants Antonio Pierce to be retained as the Raiders' head coach. Pro Bowl wide receiver Devontae Adams said the same adding that all players on the team want Pierce to return. Raiders owner Mark Davis is said to be a big fan of Pierce's, as he should be. The question will be whether there is another candidate, such as Michigan's Jim Harbaugh, who tempts Davis enough to bypass Pierce. Even if they wanted to hire Pierce, the Raiders still would be required by NFL rules to conduct a full search and go through the complete process, which would constitute complying with the Rooney Rule. I'll explain what the Rooney Rule is a little bit more in depth near the uh, end when I do my takeaways. At a team meeting this week, Raiders coaches and staffers were told that they would not be blocked from looking for other jobs, but that the organization wanted to be kept in the loop on any potential opportunities, according to league sources. Some took this to mean that Pierce and GM Champ Kelly are not locks to have their interim tags removed. If they were a lock, the Raiders would want Pierce and Kelly to retain many of their assistants, the same ones who now have permission to seek employment elsewhere. Still, Pierce and Kelly have done enough to prove they warrant serious consideration to become full-time at their current jobs. The question is whether Davis will agree. The last time he had a successful interim coach, Davis made a change. Despite the fact that Raiders players wanted Davis to retain the interim coach, Ritz Basaccia, and make him full-time, Davis opted to hire Josh McDaniels as his head coach and Dave Ziegler as his GM in 2022, only to fire them on Halloween Eve this season which we went live for for 26 hours, by the way. If you were there, let me know down below. Spam RO4L. Davis doesn't care about the money he owes John Gruden, McDaniels, and Ziegler, or what it would take to lure in another coach and GM. He just wants to hit... He just wants to hit and have this organization win. Not that Davis won't conduct a thorough interview process, but Pierce and Kelly have more than their share of supporters. They still need the biggest supporter, Davis, to sign off to make their hiring official. So coming up here is going to be my biggest takeaways from that Schefter report. And again, that literally just dropped a few minutes ago. I ran back inside. I was walking Chuck. That's why he's a little bit of a mopey guy today. I was like, man, I got to make this. I got to get my takeaways on this for the nation. But before I tell you what my takeaways are, I do got to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Prize Picks. And today literally is like the perfect day for Prize Picks. There are two really, really good football games Steelers at Raven, Ravens, Texans at Colts. And you could put like $10 down and have a chance to win up to 25 times your money. If anybody wants to get started, go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Again, it is CLNS. That tells prize picks that we sent you here from the Raiders report. I don't know why it's CLNS. It's just what they wanted. But you can go get started now. It's Daily Fantasy Sports Made Easy. And like, I know today, my cousin Anthony, who I haven't seen in a long, long time. Well, I guess I went to his wedding earlier this year. But uh, haven't seen him for a few months. He's actually going to be down here in Dallas. Me and a few of the guys from work, we're going to go to a bar. We're going to watch a little bit of football. 
You put down 10 bucks, have a chance to pay off all your food, all your drinks, and no matter what, the entire time while you're there, you're going to be having a good time and you're going to be occupied. So again, if anybody's just sitting around today, you're like, hey man, I plan on watching some football. Put some money down on it. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and make sure that you use code CLNS for a first time deposit match up to $100. Comments, description, you can find it. All right, y'all. So now it's going to be coming up are going to be my takeaways from this big time Schefter report. The first one is Max Crosby, Devontae Adams, and this team want Antonio Pierce back. So about a month ago on the show, I talked about how Crosby... Pierce and Mark Davis about a month ago, this is like right during the Raiders bye week, had a dinner together and a lot of things were talked about of what it's going to take in order for that coaching staff to be retained and from what I understand according to somebody at the dinner was that it was they want to have continuity. They wanted to be able to bring back Pierce and they wanted to be able to have a, a good, good leader, not somebody who just thinks that they're better and bigger than everybody else and I do think Antonio Pierce embodies and is the definition of what a Raider truly is to me. And that doesn't make him a good head coach. I think he's done a good job. I think he's done an amazing job with the defense, him and Patrick Graham. But from what I understand, Max Crosby, Devontae Adams, those are your two faces of your franchise. I'm going to try to do everything in my power to make those two guys happy. Mark Davis understands that. And then I know that the Raiders team also wants AP back. The next thing is this. Mark Davis loves Antonio Pierce, right? He could have gone a lot of different directions when he decided to fire Josh McDaniels, fire Dave Ziegler. I mean, think about it. He decided to go in a direction that nobody wanted him to go in. I mean, I, mean, I don't... There, there was probably one out of every 10 Raider fans that were excited about Josh McDaniels, excited about Dave Ziegler. For Mark Davis to go from that to Antonio Pierce, he had to go with the complete opposite. And I do think that he understands what Pierce brings to the table. And sometimes you got to switch it up a little bit. If you keep going with the big names, John Gruden, Josh McDaniels, and it's a swing and a miss, the definition of insanity is doing the exact same thing over and over and over again. Mark Davis likes Antonio Pierce, and he likes what he's been able to build here for this team. This Raiders defense with Patrick Graham is a Super Bowl caliber defense. I say this stat a lot because I mean it. The Raiders right now with AP, with Patrick Graham, are allowing 19.8 points per game. The last time that the Raiders defense allowed less than 20 points in a season was back in 2002. If you believe that Super Bowls are won on the backs of your defense and defense wins championships, hey man, you already got a defense right now that can win a Super Bowl. You just got to find a good OC. You got to find yourself a good quarterback, which there's going to be opportunities this offseason. Let's go to the next one here. It sounds like it's either Jim Harbaugh or Antonio Pierce. I said this last week that sources close to me are really indicating, and we talked about it back on December 19th, and really shouldn't surprise anybody that Harbaugh and Mark Davis have a great, great relationship. And I know right now my team at Chat Sports, they're actually in Houston at the College Football National Championship, and they actually are going to get an opportunity to sit down with Harbaugh. So I'm really curious what type of questions they decide to ask him. But I know this. You're not going to find anybody else on Raiders YouTube that has the inside sources that we do with Michigan and Harbaugh. And I know that Mark Davis is interested. Okay, we said it last week. But I also know that he really likes Antonio Pierce. So for Adam Schefter to come out and say the things that he said, it sounds like it's a two-headed race between Jim Harbaugh and Antonio Pierce. So with that being said, I want to know from all of y'all down below, if you could pick between Antonio Pierce, Jim Harbaugh, or any other coach, Let's be realistic though, right? Any other coach, who do you want to be the head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders in 2024? After this YouTube bad break, I'm going to give you my answer. My answer will be, and I've said it on Instagram, I've said it on Twitter. If you haven't already, give me a follow. Hit me up at MitchellRens365. I want AP and Patrick Graham back, right? And I really do. And I'll say this. I think Patrick Graham is more important to keep than keeping Antonio Pierce. One of the biggest reasons why I want to keep AP is because I'd like to be able to keep Patrick Graham and keep that side of the defense, keep that side of the football together because we're a quarterback away. And if you add a good OC quarterback, that's how you become a legit contender to win a Super Bowl every single season. But I'll tell you this right now. I won't be upset if it's Jim Harbaugh. <laughs> he's a proven winner everywhere he's gone. San Diego, Stanford, San Diego the college, Stanford, the 49ers, the Michigan Wolverines. Dude is a proven winner, and he's a good, he's a damn good head coach. So if you're telling me right now, Mitch, it's either Jim Harbaugh or Antonio Pierce, 
<coughs> oh, man, I'm telling you, I'm going to lose all my gray hairs. I'm going to be sleeping like a baby for the entire 2024. To me, those are the only two guys that you can hire. Because what I don't want to happen is the Raiders are looking at Jim Harbaugh. He decides to go somewhere else. Maybe the Bears, maybe the Chargers. Another team throws him an even bigger bag. And then they're like, well, hey, AP. And AP's like, I don't know. I don't see that happening because this is a hell of an opportunity for Antonio Pierce, but it does sound like it's Jim Harbaugh and Antonio Pierce right now for the next Raiders head coach. Next one is this. Uh, Raiders have to do their interview process and must abide by the Rooney Rule. So the Rooney Rule is the NFL League's policy that requires league teams to interview ethnic minority candidates for head coaching and senior football operation jobs. One of the reasons why I said Patrick Graham potentially could leave two weeks ago is because how well of a job he has done with this Raiders defense and teams are going to interview him because he deserves to be interviewed, but he's also a good candidate for the Rooney rule. And same thing here with, if I'm the Raiders, I'm interviewing Patrick Graham, I'm interviewing Antonio Pierce, I'll interview Jim Harbaugh, and if those three don't work out, I'm not going to go another direction. Like, the first person I interview is Antonio Pierce. And I tell him everything, and you got to be honest with him, right? Because AP's been honest with you. I'm going to look at him, and I'm going to say, hey, man, it's between you and Jim Harbaugh. If you have the ability to be able to keep a lot of this staff together, I'm talking about Rob Leonard, the Raiders defensive line coach, who doesn't get nearly enough credit. Jason Simmons, the Raiders defensive backs coach, doesn't get nearly enough credit. Patrick Graham, he gets a lot of credit, but he, he needs to be retained. I think a guy like uh, Conrad Brasillo, I get it, he came over from New England, but that guy's a really good offensive line coach. A uh, guy like Rob Ryan, you got to be able to keep him as well. Right? He's done a lot of good job, good glue guy. That's my pitch to Antonio Pierce. If you can keep this staff together, I'm going to give you the job. The next guy I go interview is Patrick Graham. And I tell him, hey, Graham, I'm going to give you a little bit of a raise because, damn it, you deserve it. This is the best Raiders defense I have ever seen since I have been the owner of the Raiders. Me is Mark Davis here. And say, you're going to get a raise. I still need you to be able to run the defense. However, though... If Antonio Pierce, for whatever reason, doesn't work out and you want the next head coaching job, it's your job to have. So you tell AP and Patrick Graham everything that they want to hear. We're going to get a raise. You guys are going to keep your jobs. And Patrick might take that. He might leave it. If he gets another head, co head coaching job, you can't blame the man for wanting to be a head coach in the NFL. So you sit down with AP and Patrick Graham and you tell them, hey, I'm talking to y'all first, but I will talk to Jim Harbaugh. Then you talk to Harbaugh. You hear what he has to say. You let him give his spiel. You let him sell himself of why he should be the next Raiders head coach. Because what I don't want to hear is Harbaugh's not a Raider. Harbaugh is a Raider. He is a Raider. I mean, in fact, Harbaugh has worked with Al Davis. For his first ever coaching gig was the Raiders. So I'm really getting sick and tired of people being like, you got to hire AP, you can't hire Jim Harbaugh because Harbaugh's not a Raider. If you believe that once a Raider, always a Raider, which... I believe in minus like <laughs> Antonio Brown and there's there's a few players. Shit, I F Josh McDaniels. That guy's never been a Raider in his life. But a guy like Harbaugh is a Raider to me. And a guy like Antonio Pierce absolutely is a Raider to me. That's why I'm really excited about this next coaching hiring cycle. All right, let's go to this next one here. Raiders coaches and staffers were told that they were not be blocked from looking for other jobs. I do think this is a big deal because, again, I know Mark Davis, if he keeps Antonio Pierce, if he keeps Champ Kelly, if he keeps Patrick Graham, he wants to be able to keep this current team together because that's the selling point. You keep this regime together because that's the regime that right now is having these Raiders players stand up, talk. They want to keep that family close together. But what I am starting to put some pictures together here, right? Because I was told that this meeting, so Schefter is confirming that there was a meeting where staffers, all these coaches, they were told, hey, you can go look for other employment. Usually when that happens, that means you're not going to be back next season. We're, we're going to go a different direction. Usually, not all the time. So, again, I'm a big where there's smoke, there's fire. I'm wondering if that day, which was right after the Colts game, was when this meeting ended up going down, is when Patrick Graham stood up on that podium and when he gave his, like, man, I've had a great time coaching these players. I put a video out literally yesterday on it if you want to go check it out. But I wonder if it was, like, team meeting, Patrick Graham heard all of that stuff, and then when he was talking to the media, it sounded like a goodbye speech, and I was like, shit, did he just reveal that he's not going to be back next season? I think the fact that you got Adam Schefter confirming that there was a team meeting where... Players, coaches, staffers were all told they're not going to be retained or that they could, that's not true, that they could go look for other employment. That speaks volumes. And then Patrick Graham goes and speaks. So to me, that is two dots that I'm lining up there, okay? Next one, coming in here. Davis doesn't care 
about what he is paying Gruden, McDaniels, and Ziegler. For those that do not know, he is going to be paying McDaniels, Ziegler, Gruden, and if you kind of throw a Mick Lombardi in that mix as well, $85 million over the next four years, which is a, it's a lot of jing jing, you know, and it's kind of why I'm, I'm sitting up here also saying I hate when people are like, oh, Mark Davis is broke. He ain't broke. He's not broke. Who do you think is the guy paying Devontae Adams? Who do you think is the guy paying Jim Garoppolo, Max Crosby? I mean, to me, it's four years, $85 million. He gave Max Crosby a four-year, $98 million contract. I get it. It's a little bit different. <laughs> but I'm just saying, getting rid of Gruden, McDaniels, Ziegler, four years, 85, is like him writing a check, an extension for one player like Crosby. Mark Davis has the money. The Raiders are worth billions right now. You might not like that they left Oakland. I love Oakland. I am a Raider fan because of Oakland. However, the move to Las Vegas was a good business decision. I think we have to be able to wrap our mind around that. And then the last one is this. Davis wants to win, even if that means giving a bag to Harbaugh. And I think like when it really comes down to it, he's going to evaluate it based on who he thinks is the best man for the job. Not who's the cheapest because... Jim Harbaugh is going to cost, I bet you, double the amount of what somebody like Antonio Pierce is. But again, if you're talking about, let's give, I don't know, eight, nine million to Antonio Pierce, or we're going to give 18 million to Jim Harbaugh, think about what that is in terms of an NFL player standpoint. I, I mean, come on, y'all. Like, it's a nine million dollar different for a head coach. Mark Davis wants to win. He wants to start building this legacy in Las Vegas and knows that. Until the Raiders start winning, because Las Vegas right now, you got the Aces, you got the Golden Knights, you're about to have a baseball team come there. They, he does not want the Raiders to be number four on that list. Yeah, I get it. The nation is a loyal, loyal fan base, man. We are a family through and through, but I want to see some winning sometime very, very soon. So those right there were my biggest takeaways from everything that Adam Schefter had to say. And remember again, before I go, there's two awesome football games today. Steelers at Ravens, Texans at Colts. If you guys want to let me know who you got, please do so. And then again, we're going to be live tomorrow. Raiders, Broncos. We're getting live started an hour before kickoff. So if you want to come party with Jeremy Chuggs and I, man, pull up, dude. I'm super excited for tomorrow's game. I know that there's some people out there that want the Raiders to lose to get a better draft pick, but I'll tell you this right now. If you watch this show and you're like, hit that like button because I want Antonio Pierce back. If you want Antonio Pierce back, you better hope that the Raiders win tomorrow. At point blank and simple, you better hope that the Raiders win tomorrow because if the Raiders lose, I think that AP's chances of getting hired from what I'm being told go significantly down. I mean, there's a reason why Antonio Pierce, when he spoke to the media uh, yesterday, was like, we're the Raiders. We're going out there and we're playing. That's the mindset that I love to have. In fact, a Raiders player told me before I made this video that we're going to give it our all for AP. And I know a lot of guys want AP back. Even players who are free agents next season. Even players who don't even know their own job security of whether they're coming back. But I do know that that team wants AP back, and they're going to go out there and they're going to battle against an AFC West opponent, an AFC West opponent that hasn't beaten them since December 29, 2019. The Broncos have never beaten the Las Vegas Raiders. I want to keep that streak going. It's been 1,460 days since the Broncos have beaten the Raiders. Tomorrow it's going to be 1,461, and after that, I want to keep that streak going. Do I want a Caleb Williams, a Drake May? Uh, Jaden Daniels, I absolutely do. And I understand if the Raiders lose, there's a much better shot at getting one of those quarterbacks. There is. However, though, if you do get a dub, AP's probably back. And if you do get a dub, I mean, there's still some other good quarterbacks out there that you could find. I watched a lot, a lot of tape on Michael Penix Jr. this weekend. Um, I might have been wrong saying he ain't going in round one. I, I, The more and more I watched on him, man, the more and more I'm starting to fall in love with Penix Jr. But... A lot of good quarterbacks. Justin Fields is out there. A lot of different ways that you could go. But bottom line is this. We will be live tomorrow on the Raiders Report. So make sure you pull up the final game of the season. Because I know this, man. There's no other way I'd rather end this season than on a win. On a high note. And I hope that you all join Chugs and I when we do it. All right, y'all. So one more thing here that I wanted to add. Because... I'm going to title this video, just so you all know, I'm going to title the video this, and here's the reason why. 
Raiders want Antonio Pierce back, and so does Mark Davis. I have followed Schefter very, very closely for a long time. It is my job to understand what people say. The fact that Schefter wrote those exact words, you could put it in a quote, Raiders want Antonio Pierce back, and so does Mark Davis. He put it on Twitter. Anytime Schefter talks on a show, I get it. I run a lot of shows. What you put on Twitter when you have the time to type compared to when you're live and you say something, it can be a little different. The way Schefter is, when he really, really believes in something, he puts it on Twitter in writing. And that title, Raiders want Antonio Pierce back, and so does Mark Davis, is on his Twitter. The fact that he's saying that means everything about why I made this video. He knows that the Raiders want Antonio Pierce back, the players, and he also knows that Mark Davis wants Antonio Pierce back. Those are two, two big things there that the nation needs to really put in consideration. All right, y'all. Enjoy your Saturday. I will see y'all tomorrow on Sunday for a big Raiders game. And we're also going to be live on Monday for Michigan, Washington. If there's any questions that you want my chat sports team to ask Jim Harbaugh this weekend in Houston at the Natty, let me know on Twitter. I put something out there at Mitchell Rent 365 I put something on IG as well because I'm going to send them my favorite questions that y'all send. And hopefully we get Harbaugh to, to answer something for us. All right, on behalf of me, on behalf of my guy, Chuck, he's out. You, I want you all to enjoy the rest of your day. All right, y'all, if you made it this far in the video, click the subscribe button right here to get more Raiders content around the silver and black for even more videos. We drop a video every single day. We also go live at least four times a week. I want you to click these videos over here. If you're looking for even more content because you're like, all right, this guy's not too bad. Now, I am at home, so we have graphics at the studio. Even more videos here from the Raiders Sport videos. Make sure you subscribe.